Hi, I'm Ford, and I'm Todd. Today we're talking about the colon. Or our colon. Hold on, hold on, colon. What's colon? Well, colon is basically your exhaust pipe. Exhaust pipe. Yeah, just like your. You mean that thing where you do duke shoot? Yeah, that's exactly. Duke and shoot. And you got to keep that clean. Now, now, how you clean? Well, you're gonna use herbs like uh, psyllium husk, senna, you know, um, activated charcoal. And it's gonna clean it. It's gonna clean it. Yeah. You yeah, should. but some people are stank and clogged up and shit. Well, that's because they're not cleaning. They they wash the outside of the body, they don't wash the inside. So they don't wash the doo doo pipes. They don't. You, know. you got to wash the dookie pipes, man. So, <laughs> so we have a formula called our colon formula, which will assist you with doing that. So you don't end up having colon cancer and all types of issues regard related to you not having your, a clean colon. Man, some people, some people got hemorrhoids and all kinds of stuff like that. It will help with that too. We have a hemorrhoid form that's separate. That's a whole different issue, but but, but this will this will help with that also. So I, so colon is really important because. You intake and you gotta release, and if you ain't releasing, and you clogging, you backing up. Well, if you're eating three meals a day, how many how many bowel movements should be happening? I mean, I had women tell me they don't go to the bathroom for days, like four, five, seven days at a time. These are people that you're dating? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, I'm just wondering how you know that. <laughs> no, that's not kind of personal. People you know? call, people call. Okay, okay, customers. Customer. Okay, okay. I, they call I, I thought you were somebody I, you dating. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, everybody I know go three okay. times a day because okay. they eat, they're vegan, so they eat eating right. Oh, so you but, don't date meat eaters? No, no, I don't, I don't do meat eaters. Okay. Why, why the hell would I date a meat eater that I don't eat meat? Okay, okay. Well, Come on now. And she going to be smelling funny too? Okay. I don't think so. Homie don't play that. Yeah. Anyway, so, so I have people call me and they say like, I ain't went to shit for five days. Ma'am, you ain't shit for five. Girl, you tore up. That's a problem. That's a major problem. If you're not having a bowel movement at least twice a day, you are backed up. You're constipated. Now, your doctor's going to tell you it's okay. That's fine. It's not okay. That ain't okay. Because you got to think about where's all that food going that you're eating? You stink as hell inside. You know, some of y'all are swallowing gum and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Oh, man, I don't even go there. That's like, that's like a disposal. <laughs> Like a trash, trash exactly. container, you know? You know, and all this food is toxic. You're eating all these chemicals. And then you, you know, wonder why you're sick. You go, you're sick. Most diseases start in the colon. And if you're eating meat, then you got parasites hatching parasites. inside of you. You know, you got to get that stuff out. That's why you have, we, in our colon form, we have black hole walnut holes, such as going to kill those parasites. We got psyllium husk, but when you drink water, it, it expands and, like, sweeps that colon out. You know, so, you, if you, so if you ain't shitting on a regular basis, you need the colon formula. And the good thing about the colon formula is it don't just make you go blow out. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't make you just go boom, blow the whole bathroom. You know, it works its way through and it pushes the stuff out. You got a plug. If you got a plug, what I call a stopper, because some people get stoppers based on the way they eat. Mm -hmm. Can't shit or they shit cheese. rocks. They shit in pebbles, cheese, milk, dairy, they shit in pebbles. So colon formula helps push all that stuff out nice and smooth without you tearing up the whole bathroom. And you are, it's also important to look, because what you're looking for is for your feces to float. If it's not floating, you're not eating properly. You're not eating enough raw. Float. It has to float in the toilet. If it's not oh, flo floating. Yeah, yeah, float. Oh, he said floating, not yeah. float. I heard float. He said if your boo-doo ain't float, float, you know, floating up instead of sinking. Right. Yeah, get so, so, so you, you want to look at the color. If it's black, that means it's putrefied. It's been in your body for a long time. Brown is normal. You'll see green. But you, you definitely want to look for it, the thickness of it should be about the size, a little bit about the, close to the size of your wrist. And if it's smaller than that, that means you're most likely constipated. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.